Our two favorite memories, dumbest fights. Hmm, am I pregnant? Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a week in my life and we've got a lot going on this week. We're working on a lot of home improvement things. I'll show you guys some things that we have already done and tomorrow is our two year anniversary so I'll bring you guys along for that. I've got a fun clothing haul for you and just all the fun things. Today I actually had a friend over this morning. Of course didn't film that but we had coffee and it was just a great morning and then I've been getting some work done. And already it's 1.40. The day just flies by. I still need to go to the grocery store. My typical Monday things. And I need to run some errands. I need to go to Home Goods. I want to get a headboard for a bed in our um, other bedroom. Not our guest bedroom, but the other room. That sometimes is an office. But I wanted to officially like make it a bedroom, if that makes sense. Sam's making popcorn. And right now we're trying to figure out what we're gonna do for our anniversary tomorrow. We just got back from New York City, which that was like technically our anniversary trip. But I feel like on our anniversary day, we should still like go to dinner or something. Yeah, I will think of two. You think of two. We put them in a bracket. Picture one and two. That's a very good insight into our relationship. Like we can't just pick a restaurant. We have to make it into something fun. Mm. Do a bracket. I'm in the office dash our guest bedroom and I want to give you guys a thrift haul. But let me tell you, you would not know that I thrifted these items. Everything I got is from ThreadUp. And I want to thank ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. If you guys watch my videos, you know ThreadUp is just my obsession. I have shopped with them even whenever I'm not working with them. That's how much I love their company. If you don't know what ThreadUp is, it's the world's largest online thrift store with so many of your favorite brands. I got things from Abercrombie & Fitch, Madewell, Zara. I got something from Love Shack Fancy, H&M. So many different things, so many amazing brands for such a great price. So I wanted to show you guys some of the items that I got. But first, I wanted to let you guys know that they gave me 40% off for you guys. That's better than my past codes have been. So you can use the code Jacqueline and this will get you 40% off your first purchase with ThreadUp, which is amazing. That's on top of their already great prices. And there's a new feature on ThreadUp where if you guys click on my link, you can actually shop similar items that I got because sometimes they do have duplicates on ThreadUp. Um, so if you can find a duplicate, you can buy the same thing as me or something very similar just to kind of give you some inspiration. A few videos back, I talked about how I am simplifying my closet. I'm trying to mature it and I have gotten so many great pieces. You guys can see just the beautiful array of colors, very summer vibes. And then I've got a few items in there as well. This might be the best purchase I've ever made on ThreadUp. Look how gorgeous this dress is. I actually might wear this for our anniversary tomorrow. Depends on where we're going, but if it's the vibe, I definitely want to wear it. This is from the Love Shack Fancy like with Target brand and the deal I got on this is unreal. It's just a gorgeous dress and I love the details on it. I could wear this dress every day. Truly the best find I've ever had on ThreadUp. I've never added something to my cart so quick. Next up is this super adorable dress. I felt like it was just classic. This is from the brand H&M and the estimated retail price was $32, but I got it on ThreadUp for $17.99. My goal is to wear more dresses this summer and dresses are expensive, so I'm glad I got a few from ThreadUp for such a great price. And I paired it with these cute sandals I got on ThreadUp. They are brand new, still with tags on them and everything, and the estimated retail price of these shoes was $95, but I got them on ThreadUp for $30. To 99 and they're from Madewell, so you know that they're quality shoes. I know I said I was doing my best item first, but I saved the best deal for last, and that is these jeans. Do you guys see? These are the 90s straight jeans that like everyone is wearing right now, new with tags from Abercrombie, and get get this. The estimated retail price is $90, and I got them on ThreadUp for $29.99. New with tags. I always get my jeans from ThreadUp because I often get new with tag jeans from my favorite brands. And again, back to basics, I just wanted some good staple pieces in my closet. So I got this 
black high neck tank top and this is from the brand Madewell. The estimated retail price was $43 and I got it on ThreadUp for $18.99. I feel like this outfit is exactly the vibe I'm going for with my like closet revamp. It's just simple and cute and everything can mix and match. And I got so many more amazing pieces from ThreadUp and you can too. So be sure to click on the link down below if you guys wanna shop my finds and you can use the code Jacqueline for an extra 40% off your first order. And thank you again to ThreadUp for sponsoring today's video. Now let's go run our errands. We've got lots to do, not too much time to do it. Kitchen is clean and we're about to go on our nightly walk. We have a park right next to our house and like we knew it was there. It's got like fields and things like that. But we didn't realize that there was like a walking trail and just so many great things about this park. So we've been going every single night to take Teddy, enjoy the night, and then we'll probably paint tonight. There's a few things that we need to paint around the house. And then I think I'll set up the guest bedroom. I'll link these shorts down below. They're from Hawara. I love them. They're so comfortable. They've got like the crisscross thing. But this shirt, I've had this shirt since I was in seventh grade. I'll try and like insert a picture of me wearing it here. Is the next day our anniversary and last night before bed I started feeling really sick and I spent the entire night throwing up and I still feel really sick I haven't thrown up since this morning though but every time I stand up I get really nauseous like really early this morning Sam was holding back my hair and I was like well that is marriage like what a great way to spend an anniversary, right? <laughs> I still don't feel 100% by any means. Like I feel very weak, just like sore, I think from throwing up so much, but I don't feel nauseous. I spent the entire day feeling nauseous yesterday. So today is gonna be a really big catch up day. And if I feel well enough, maybe we can go out to dinner tonight to celebrate our anniversary. Oh, like even if I laugh, my abs are really sore. It's 7.30 right now. I'm going to leave here in about 30 minutes just to drop Teddy off at the groomers. He has an 8.30 appointment. I was supposed to nanny today, but obviously I had to cancel that because I am in no shape to take care of a toddler. <laughs> so I'm having a little bit of coffee, very minimal milk. Cheers to a busy ketchup work day. all day and I went and picked Teddy up from the groomer 
and then worked again just some more. I had a lot of catching up to do since I was sick yesterday. So we debated if we should celebrate our anniversary tonight, but I think it would actually just be best to do it tomorrow. Sam is picking up some soup for me since I still don't feel 100%. Show them how cute you look after the groomers. You look so cute. French onion soup for dinner. Chipotle. Chipotle. How have you been feeling? We're both good. morning happy Thursday I got dressed today that's a big big thing I thought I'd do an outfit of the day this tank top is actually from my thread up order I didn't share it in my haul but it's from Abercrombie and Fitch these jeans are by Madewell but I actually got them in a thread up order a long time ago and I love them they're like super loose and since I'm not like at a hundred percent I wanted to be comfy who knows how long this outfit will last but we're trying I've spent the morning editing and I do have a few errands to run so I think I'm gonna go do that also this morning I got a text from my friend and she was like Jacqueline I also was feeling really nauseous Monday night and was throwing up all night was out of commission Tuesday and I'm starting to feel somewhat better and literally we've had these same exact symptoms same exact sickness timeline and we're thinking that we had the same thing because we were serving together in the nursery on Sunday so maybe we got sick from one of the babies it makes me feel better because I didn't know what was wrong with me like I didn't know if I should be concerned for a little bit I thought hmm, am I pregnant like what is going on I just had no idea what was going on it's almost lunchtime so I need to eat I still have zero appetite zero but I'm gonna make some eggs and toast because that's easy and I've just been sipping on some ginger ale to kind of settle my stomach a little bit. I couldn't even finish my coffee, wasn't it? just wrapped up work and all the errands from today I'm officially free and I decided to put some makeup on because I think we're gonna go to dinner I still haven't had the biggest appetite but ramen sounds really good and I feel like that would be really good for me right now um, but I've got more of an appetite than I have pretty much all week so I think we're gonna do that kind of celebrate our anniversary <laughs> So I thought it'd be fun to kind of sit down with Sam and go over like our favorite memories just throughout the years and talk about that. Oh, we are on our way to a place called Jinya. Jinya. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. In two years, we went from dating to eating ramen. Don't do it. You know, don't, you ever see that? Don't, don't do, do it. it. Don't, don't do it. I just want like a chocolate or something. Let me go inside Panera. Very quick. We were going to do dessert, but I'm starting to feel a little nauseous again. Let's talk about marriage. In honor of our two year anniversary, we thought it'd be fun to like talk about some things. So let's list our two favorite memories and dumbest fights. Okay, well I, I've got one. Go. I'm gonna go first. This is just like a time period, but one of my favorite memories was definitely our honeymoon. Which sounds cliche. Easy answer. But I think because I was so nervous for our honeymoon, like I just didn't know what to expect. What to, what, yeah, I don't know how you know what to expect on your honeymoon. Yeah. And I just had the best time ever, which mm -hmm. is a blessing for sure. I gotta say this, Washington D freaking C. That was my next one. One of the best trips 
I've ever been on. Yeah, it was so good. Jam-packed with things to do. We were tired at the end of the day. We watched National Treasure. Um, <laughs> we did. And we went to a base baseball game. We Did you rode see bikes. a Braves game? No. Rode bikes in the rain. We got did. really good food everywhere. Oh, getting Teddy. Wow. Like, the day we got literally that was the Mr. Teddy best day of my life. Sorry the California trip though You might be surprised at that answer just because wow. I was stressed about money on that trip because it's so expensive But truly like that was that trip like you know, I think um, Fearless Taylor's version came out or or was Slowly rolling out. Sorry, no. I don't know the ins and outs of Taylor Swift. Anyways, like I remember, uh, Mr. Perfectly Fine. That song always brings me back there, and it always gives me really good thoughts. It's a whole world that I hadn't seen before. It was really fun. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. Like driving, being kind of nomadic, living in one. We booked our Airbnbs that day. Yeah, that would. That was kind of fun. Very expensive. It was very expensive. Alright, what else? Those we've That's each said two. two things. Okay, now our two silliest arguments. We'll tell I got the first one since it's I wanna say the first yeah. one. I <laughs> go for it. So last week we argued last week. over <laughs> milk. So for the past, I don't know, three, four months I've been getting grass fed milk. Yeah. Which, which is like the most expensive milk that you can get. I will say it is the best tasting. Okay. Which I wasn't doing it for the I taste. will give it that. I didn't even notice the taste. And Sam, I guess, wasn't aware of the price point. And so he came grocery shopping with me, which he rarely does. And we were getting milk. And he was like, how much yeah. is that? And so he was like, no, we need to get organic. And I was like, no, we need to get grass fed. Like, organic's good, but grass fed is great. And this is something that I drink every day. I, I've been slowly but surely trying to put foods in my diet that are less inflammatory which grass-fed because it's yeah. it's not grains but with milk like i've never i've never been used to even getting organic i thought i was giving up the world getting organic and so i'm like organic's great and it's half the price of grass-fed like that should be good enough um but no um <laughs> so guess what's in the fridge right now grass -fed. organic oh I didn't tell you that. I saw oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I forgot to tell you. No, no, no. You sent me to go get groceries, and I looked and looked, and they had reduced fat and 2% grass fed, and I'm like, Jacqueline doesn't okay. do that. So she do does you appreciate whole milk. that I didn't give you any flack about it? Well, now I do. I didn't think about it before. I yeah. Forgot. I think any of our silliest arguments revolve around money. Our three years, well, what are you excited for? I'm excited for Teddy to turn one. Oh. <laughs> are you throwing a party? I want to, but you told me the dog part is done. Are you going to get emotional? All right. So, that's it. Wrapping it up. Ready no, to go on. home. What? We got, we got other things to look forward to. I'm tired, babe. Yeah, I am really tired, too. I'm looking forward to going to bed. Good morning, happy Friday. I went on a walk this morning and just did my typical morning things. And today I'm gonna to show you guys some house updates that we've made. I'm also gonna show you guys how I make my vanilla bean syrup for my coffee. I've shared it on my Instagram, but I thought I would do a really quick overview on YouTube. It is so easy. And we're going to our friends for dinner tonight, so I'm making this to bring to her. And I'm also going to be making some cookies to bring over there. So today's kind of a more fun, chill, do things that I love kind of day, which I feel like I really have been needing, especially after yesterday. That was just a pack filled work day. So I am feeling much better today. I feel like I am like 98%, which is really good. So let's go show you the updates. We'll start upstairs. One of the updates that we did is in our third bedroom that we have. This room has always been such a miscellaneous room. Because it's been unfinished, we always just make it like a catch-all room. If I've got a box, I just throw it in here. And it tends to build and build and build. If you guys have seen in other videos, we've cleaned out this room many times. So we felt like if we just finished it off, it would really help with that. So we decided to add a bed in here. At one point it was Sam's office, but now he goes into the office so much, we just decided to make it a bedroom. So this is what we did. I do wanna add more color in here. It's pretty drab. And these curtains, I don't love the color of, but 
what do you do? And then I had all these decorations. I had everything in here. I wanted to just use things that we already had. So I probably should maybe just get like more colorful pillows or something. I don't know, but I think it turned out really well. And then we also just had this chair, so I put it in the corner. Nothing too major, but I definitely think it kind of finishes off this space well and our guest bedroom is right here so honestly i probably could have moved this in there but i really love this room and i really like working in here so i just left it another update that i did was that we added these wine bottles because i am constantly getting asked what is this and so i was like you know what we're just gonna buy some put them in here as like decoration so that there are no more questions so I bought this cute bottles because they're black and white. And I think it kind of completes it a little bit more. Okay, next update is in the basement. Honestly, I feel like I never filmed down here. We do have a huge basement in our house. And so there's one area that's more finished, which is the side that has like our laundry and all of that. Like you've seen that before. Sam uses this as his like woodworking area. We also use it for storage and stuff. And then his golf thing. So this is like our little laundry room. This is our deep freezer where we keep all of our meat. And then we added this little office area. What do you think? I think it's so cute. Um, so this is the desk that used to be upstairs, but we moved it down here and then we've got another chair again. This rug also used to be upstairs, but I felt like it just needed a rug down here. So I love it. I think it's so cute. I think it's a great new little update to our home. So I'm going to go ahead and make the chocolate chip cookie dough so that it can cool in the fridge. And then I can just pop them in the oven right before we leave. And then I'll show you guys how to make the syrup. Okay, so let's make this vanilla bean syrup. It's a simple syrup, so you can use it in your coffee or wherever you want. So these are the things that you'll need. First is an airtight bottle to put it in. I really love these. This is actually from Kroger and I'm pretty sure most grocery stores have these. Then the rest of the ingredients are extremely simple. You just need a cup of sugar and then a cup of water and one vanilla bean. So this package of vanilla beans is from Costco. I'm pretty sure it came with two tubes and there were like five in each tube and I think it was like $17. And you can find them at some grocery stores or you can order them online. But Costco definitely has the best deal. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna take one vanilla bean pod out and then we are going to slice it down the middle, scrape out the vanilla beans and then we will put them in this pot over here. And then we will just add the sugar and water to the pot and bring that to a boil. Now let it boil and then turn it off once the sugar is fully dissolved. And then once you're done, you can just pour it into your container and it's that easy. That is how you make vanilla bean syrup. I just reheated my ramen from last night. I don't know if this is a faux pas. I've never had leftover ramen, but we'll see how it tastes. Cookies are in the oven. Sam is hard at work and my Velcro puppy is right next to me. Deciding between which bone he should have. It's the next day. We had so much fun at our friend's house last night. I made the cookies and then I brought them the vanilla bean syrup. Don't forget to use my code Jacqueline. This will get you an extra 40% off your first order with ThreadUp. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and sticking around despite me being sick and it not going as planned. I hope you guys still enjoyed it nonetheless and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.